The 1989 Dickinson Red Devils set a standard of excellence by which all Dickinson teams will be judged. This group of overachievers built the tradition that carries on at Biddlefield today. The Red Devils finished undefeated with a 9-0-1 record, and they achieved an impressive list of firsts. Dickinson went undefeated for the first time since 1937. The 1989 Red Devils won their first outright Centennial Conference Championship. The program made its first trip to the NCAA playoffs and won for the first time at Franklin and Marshall since 1965. The success was the culmination of five years of dedication and hard work instilled by head coach Ed Sweeney and his staff and carried out by every kid who wore the red. In 1985, Sweeney inherited one of the worst programs in the country, but by the end of the 89 season, he fielded a team ranked in the nation's top 20. But the 89 Red Devils never claimed to have great talent, just great people. What they lacked in ability, they made up for with heart and desire. A work ethic that remains strong in the program today under head coach Darwin Bro, longtime assistant Joel Quatron, and their players. The legacy of the 1989 Red Devils will always be its character and characters. Behind the running of Dickinson's all-time leading rusher, Mike Borosiak, the leadership of captains Joe Trainer and Scott Schleck, and the tackling of Larry Barone and Bobby Schnars, Dickinson tackled all of its goals. The Red Devils set 56 individual and team records, produced five All-Americans, and made memories and friendships that will last forever. These are some of the sights and sounds from that unforgettable fall of 1989, the greatest season in Dickinson football history.